In this video, I go back to Bahia Beach Nature Preserve for the first time in quite a while. It's not a big preserve, but it had lots of ducks and other wildlife. I'll show you what I was able to find. It was a windy, cloudy day, so not the best for taking photos. I had to shoot mostly wide open with the Sony FE 200-600mm to G lens at ISO 800, which is very noisy with the A7R4. I hope you enjoy it. This is one of the 29 varieties of primrose willow found in Florida. There were quite a few blue-winged teal in the ponds. Here we have a male. Lanceleaf arrowhead is found in many parts of the world. It is native to the southeastern United States. This is a gray catbird I found in the bushes. He told me this was his good side, so I had to show you that as well. A northern pintail is a beautiful duck. Here he is hanging out with some American coots and blue winged teal. This is a low rattle box flower. It turns into a seed pod that rattles when you shake it. That's how it got its name. These next three shots of an osprey could have been great, but with cloudy skies, they were just average and nowhere near being good. The camera nailed focus, but with poor light, there was no contrast and detail suffered because of it. Unfortunately, you can't change the weather. You can only deal with it as best you can. A black skimmer was skimming along the water trying to find its next meal. Look how narrow its beak is. It's amazing how they are able to capture fish by skimming the water's surface. As you can see in this shot, he was successful. A little blue heron looking carefully for its breakfast. Now we have one of my favorite birds, the Rosiette Spoonbill. There was only one present that day. What a beautiful bird it is with its pink to red feathers and its spoon-shaped bill. Here he looks puzzled as he looks my way as if to say, What are you doing, dude? Taking my picture? Let me show you my good side. Click the shutter now. This young snowy egret has snagged a nice-sized fish for breakfast. In the first of three shots, he just had to fly away from another egret that wanted to steal his fish. This American widgeon was a long ways away, so even this is a tightly cropped image. Their blue bill stands out and makes them easier to identify. I looked this butterfly up in iNaturalist's Seek app and determined it was a great southern white butterfly. 
I think this is the first photo I have ever taken of this species. I especially liked this photo. The last three photos are of a tricolored heron. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on that subscribe button. I would appreciate that. Hit the bell button to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.